Yesterday, I posted my kindergarten readiness checklist, which actually got a lot of controversial comments. Some parents think it's not enough. Some parents think it's too much. I'm here to tell you that I've been teaching preschool for 14 years, and my preschoolers can get the majority of these things by the end of the year. But if you're not able to do this at home, this is why preschool is so important. I had lots of comments saying that this is what they should be doing in kindergarten. But if you see the kindergarten state standards, they are actually learning how to read, they're writing complete sentences, they're counting to 100, so it is much above this. Also, just to note, this list is for most four and five-year-olds, but not all four and five-year-olds. There are many circumstances where a child is just not ready for this yet. As long as the child is working on getting better and meeting new goals, that's what is important. I'm going to be going through this list one by one to give you tips that you can easily do these things at home through play in just a few minutes a day. If this list is just too overwhelming for you to do, I'm going to give you one big tip to do with your child. It might seem crazy what I'm going to say, but I promise you it's important. There's something called the 30 million word gap in which some five-year-olds that come to kindergarten have heard 30 million less words than other five-year-olds. As you can imagine, this really does affect their school career. So my one big tip is to talk to your child. Talk to them when they wake up, in the middle of the day, when they go to sleep. Talk about the shapes and colors that you see around you. Um, count out how much silverware you're setting out for dinner. Just literally talk out loud to your child. Stay tuned for tips for the rest of the kindergarten readiness checklist.